too much traffic. No, Keith has been doing great. That's good. Good. Good work, Keith. <laughs> I just came back from bringing Jess some coffee. Ah. Hey, Heather, um, you doing anything the rest of the afternoon? Nothing in particular. I really hate to ask you a second favor, but I just have one more errand to do, and, and I'd really appreciate it if you'd stuck around for a little while. I mean, even though Keith is here, I hate to leave him alone. Oh, don't worry about it. Give me a chance to spend a little time with Joe. Besides, he's always working so hard, I never get to see him. That's what makes him a Kelly, I guess. I really appreciate it. Don't give it a second thought. Hey, uh, Keith, I'm yep. going to have to go out for just a little bit, take care of a few things. And Heather here has worked here before. She knows the ropes. You need anything? Consult her, okay? Yep. I appreciate it. Thanks. What? Hi. Need a menu? Uh-uh. I know what I want. Um, mm -hmm. cheeseburger, french fries, and a chocolate milkshake. Mm -hmm. How do you want your burger? Oh, anyways, okay. I think that woman over by the window wants to order. I'll take care of this. Okay, here you go. What are you doing here? Heather, I told you to stay back at the hotel. Well, I'm hungry and I'm bored. I don't care. I was just about to bring you over some dinner. Besides, what? you just ate a little while ago. Well, I just We're going to have to get you out of here. Now, come on. Oh, no. What? What? Here, here. Heather, stay down and be quiet. Heather! Well, darling, I think you'll just have to flush out Greg's box. But how? I think that's what our resident plumber is now pondering. I think the resident plumber is coming up with something. Mm -hmm. Oh? <laughs> no, darling, it's just Jack. Listen, I've been Where's thinking... Where's Laura? She's playing cards with, with Blackie. But anyway, I've been thinking, all we have to do is to get the cult members to expose their medallions. <laughs> how? Rip the clothes off? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think we can do a little bit better than that. At least, I hope we can. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's worth a try. Hey, you've done it, attaboy. Well, uh, I think I can do it alone, as a matter of fact. So why don't you stay here and keep an eye on the, uh, <laughs> ladies? Where? I think oh. we can, uh, take care of ourselves. Okay. Oh, you think you can? Sure. Good luck can. and all stay that. Stay here and keep an eye on Where do you suppose he's going, darling? Nile will get you ten. He's going to Ruby's. To do what? Catch a spy. Mr. Katz, what a surprise. I'm looking for Cynthia Elliott. Maybe you could tell me where I could find her. Haven't the faintest idea. Really? Isn't that interesting? Her landlady told me that she'd left her rooming house with a friend, that she was carrying a suitcase. Maybe she went on a little vacation. <sighs> Excuse me. Save a lot of time if you told me where she was. Come on, Dr. Katz. I know what you really want. You're afraid that Cynthia Elliott is going to talk to Dr. Steve Hardy and tell him what happened at the clinic in Batavia. That's ridiculous, and you know it. Who do you think you're kidding? You don't care about Cynthia Elliott. All you care about is yourself. You're afraid what happened to Dr. Bradshaw is going to happen to you. You don't want Cynthia to confront you in public again. You just want to get rid of her because she might spoil your wonderful career. What's gotten into you? Come on, Dr. Katz, you hate her. You'll do anything to get rid of Cynthia Elliott. Come on, admit it. Could we talk a little bit? Sure. Excuse me. Oh, Cynthia, I'm so sorry I had to hear that. That man hates me. Oh, sure, it's going to be all right. No, it's not. He'll kill me. I know he will. Have to please help me. Of course, Cynthia. I'm going to help you. Well, what am I going to do? Right now, you better go back to the hotel. What if he follows me? He won't. I'll lead you out the back door. No, I'm afraid. What if he sees me? Cynthia, he won't. Now, come on, just go back to the hotel. I have the whole thing planned out. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Well, can't you come with me now, please? No, I can't, Cynthia. I'll be there in a little while. Now, just do as I say.
I'm sorry about that. She'll be all right. She just had a little fight with her boyfriend. I know. Hmm. Hello, yes, uh, this is Heather Weber. I'm trying to contact Dr. Gail Baldwin. Do you know if she's still in the building? Good, good, she hasn't left yet. Uh, then could you be sure she gets the message? Tell her that I'm coming over to see her and it's urgent, all right? Thanks. That was a good meeting, Steve. Yeah, maybe the next one won't be so good. What do you mean? Well, yesterday a former patient of Psy Cats came by the hospital and she created quite a scene. It kind of could spell trouble. We've had enough of that around here. Yeah, that's why I wanted to talk to you. I need your advice. This has all the earmarks of a scandal. Scandal? Now, maybe I better fill you in. Before Cy Katz came here, he was practicing at a clinic in Batavia. And one of his patients was a woman named Cynthia Elliott, who accused him of sexual misconduct. You were aware of this? Oh, yes. He told me the whole story. It was a highly unstable woman, had a pattern of accusing every doctor who was trying to treat her. Anyway, he made a public, or she did, a public accusation uh, against Dr. Katz. Even attempted suicide. Was there a court case? No, no. He, he never let it go that far. He felt she was too vulnerable, that under the stress she might crack up completely. So he decided to leave Batavia rather than to put her through such an ordeal. You're satisfied with his explanation? Completely. And you agreed to hire him in full knowledge of this accusation? Oh, yes. They were totally unfounded. And uh, he was completely open with me. In the meantime, let's just hope that this was something that Cynthia Elliott had to get out of her system, and now it's over and done with. Huh? Yeah. Come in. Oh, excuse me. No, that's all right. No, I'm just leaving. Hold on a minute. Please. Hold on. Unless Dr. Drake has an objection. No, uh, no, actually, I, uh, I came to ask if I could leave early on vacation. Well, now, I could use a vacation myself about <laughs> now. What about you, Lee? Oh, yes, indeed. You planning a trip, Noah? Well, no, I wasn't, but my, uh, my uncle has uh, invited me on a trip to Africa with him. Africa? Oh. How interesting. Uh, it would mean a change in schedule. Oh, have you talked to Rick about it? Uh, I'm uh, having dinner with him and Leslie tonight at, uh, at Kelly's. I'll ask him then. Well, we're pretty short-handed right now with Dr. Cunningham away, but if it's all right with Rick, it's fine with me. Oh, God. Thank you, sir. Uh, it would be an incredible opportunity. I could visit the clinics there and... Uh, I, mean, I thought you said this was a vacation. Well, we a working vacation. <laughs> I prefer that, actually. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate mm. it. Mr. Bowen? Mm. That fine young man. Wish I could say the same about my son. I'll try to be patient, Lee. He was gone a long time. Steve, he's been back a long time. I'd hoped by now that chip on his shoulder would have fallen off. He resents you? Yeah. The whole world. Especially Luke Spencer. Hi, Bob. Here it is. I swear by this stuff. Great for the furniture. I never saw that kind of stuff before. What's so special? I'll do it. I don't want you telling me you prefer the powder stuff. <laughs> you sound like a TV ad. I'm not kidding. Will you see the shine? You know, you're starting to make people nervous. How come? Well, if the apartment gets any better, they're gonna up my rent. And when your brother, the super, comes back, he's fired. He never kept the building up <laughs> this. Oh, my goodness, that's incredible. Oh, see? Already somebody here to rent the place and you fixed it up. Oh. Hi, want a visitor? Oh, oh, I see you have one. You remember Byron? How you doing, Byron? Byron? <laughs> Byron's the light of my life. We're here cleaning. Can I see my face in the table yet? Mm, not quite. Can I talk to you, Ruby? Uh, I can finish this later. Okay. Thanks, Byron. Okay. See ya. So, he's a whiz with the wax, huh? I wonder how he'd like to polish something else, like a big, shiny sword. I'd like to see him polish that. I bet he'd love it. A sword and a helmet. He'd probably love to get his hands on those, make them sparkle like a diamond. Sword and a helmet? You've gone crazy. He's just a super. Sure he is, and I'm Uncle Sam. What's the matter with you? I'm dealing with a very big problem here, Ruby. I got a real big problem. I don't know quite where to hide it. What would you do with some about four feet long, sharp, and doesn't bend? I know what you're thinking. It's not that. 
You can't put it under your mattress because somebody might just roll over and get speared to death. Hey. What is with you? There's nobody here. Well, who'd you expect? I thought your human scrub brush was out here listening. <laughs> Byron, come on now. He's just a super. He's been fixing up the joint. I told you I'm convinced he's working for David Gray. Ridiculous. I mean, I know, but he's been so nice to me and making everything yeah, work. Well, you win some, you lose some. What can I tell you? Well, I don't know why you're so suspect. Oh, he did a wonderful job on this table. What? Is... It's the super. Huh? I couldn't talk when he was here, Ruby, because I didn't want him to to know what I'm thinking about him. See, I got this problem, and I, uh, I can't tell you exactly everything about it, but I've got, a, I've got this thing that I've got to hide. It belongs to David Gray. I need some advice. Where would you hide something if you thought nobody would ever think to look there? Oh, the Webbers. Weber residence. You're having company. Spencer's on his way over. He's bringing the sword. How good. The Webbers aren't here. Then leave him some room. He wants to hide it. I may need some help. All right. I'll be right over. We both deserve the credit. David's going to be very proud. Thanks, Ruby. All right, you... I can... gotta go. I'll see you later. You be careful. Of getting you out of here early, is it? Oh, darling, I'm sorry. I'm waiting for Heather. She wants to talk to me about something. Well, I guess it can wait. What? What was it? Well, I've just been talking to Steve, and he was telling me about a girl named uh, Cynthia Elliott, the former patient, Dr. Katz. Oh, yeah, that was the one that caused the terrible scene in the lobby. Wasn't yes, it? yes, apparently. Well, oh, I can't All right, honey, I'll see you tonight. All right. I'll be home as soon as I can. Okay. Okay. Thank you for waiting for me, Dr. Baldwin. Your office told me I could find you here. Yes, well, what is it you wanted to see me about, Heather? I, I, I've just got to talk to somebody. You're a psychiatrist, aren't you? No, no, I'm not. I'm an MD. I work in social medicine. I, I am a psychologist. Well, then, I, I think you'd be a good person to talk to. I, I don't know where else to turn. Well, Heather, you're Dr. Katz's patient, aren't you? Well, that's just it. My problem involves Dr. Katz and a former patient of his, Cynthia Elliott. You know Cynthia Elliott? Well, no. But she's going around telling everyone I'm a friend of hers. Actually, I only met her in the floating rib once. All right, all right, Heather. Just kind of try and relax, might you? Explain it all to me, hmm? Well, I, I was in the floating rib one day to have lunch, and she came up and introduced herself. She said that she and I had a lot in common because we were both patients of Dr. Katz. So I, I sat down and I had lunch with her. It was really quite pleasant. She even told me she wanted to be my friend. You know, I, I don't have very many friends around here. You probably noticed that. Oh, Heather, of course you do. Well, not really. But everything was going really nice. We, we had a very enjoyable lunch. All of a sudden, she started saying these terrible things about Dr. Katz. I mean, she went on and on. She ranted and raved about what a terrible person he was. Well, I, I tried to defend him at first. But she kept going on. She, she went berserk. Well, I, I finally decided she was pretty unstable. I mean, a little unbalanced, if you know what I mean. Well, I just couldn't sit there and listen to that. I mean, Dr. Katz has helped me so much. What kind of things was she saying? Just awful things about how much she hated him. I'm a little embarrassed. I mean, because I did meet her that one time, and after that stunt she pulled in the lobby of the hospital, well, I, I'm kind of worried. Well, it sounds to me as if you have good cause to worry about her. Well, I'm worried because I'm afraid of this report Dr. Katz is going to file. You see, he's turning in a report to the judge in a week. I'm afraid of what he's going to say about me. 
Oh, well, certainly Dr. Katz isn't going to be... let that influence his professional opinion. Tell me something, Heather, though. Why are you telling me all of this? Well, maybe you could help her. Maybe you could stop her. I don't, I don't know what she'll do. To you? No. To Dr. Katz. Don't you understand? I'm afraid for him. Oh. Well, I... I don't think you really have to worry about Sally. Oh, but you don't know what she's like. I mean, she, she's obsessed with him. I've seen patients like her in Forest Hills turn on their doctors. Well, she's determined to get even. She's out to get him. She's sick. To get even? Yes. I don't know. I, I just thought maybe you could help. Well, I appreciate your concern, and I'm sure Cy will too, but Heather, why don't you tell him this? I don't think he'd listen to me. I mean, Papa just wouldn't pay any attention. Maybe you could talk to him? Well, I'll certainly make an effort to, yes, after all you've told me. And I think I'll talk to Steve, too. Well, none of us would want a recurrence of that kind of scene. And hopefully, maybe we can help Cynthia as well. Thank you. Darling, have you seen the reservation book? Here it is. Oh, good. Thank you. Hello, Haunted Star. May I help you, please? Yeah, if you can get Robert for me. Lou? Where is he? Uh, Jackie wants to know where you are. Uh, I'm, I'm at a phone. Where's Robert? Uh, he's at a phone. Uh, he's in the kitchen. Here, here, let me just talk to him, okay? okay. Hi, did, did you get Byron? I got better than Byron. Where's Robert? <laughs> Damn, Luke, what happened? Mind your own business. <sighs> he would like to speak to you. What was that? Oh, uh, nothing. I thought it was Brenda Starr. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to her? Nothing. Listen, I've got a plan. There's something you have to bring. Okay. Do you have the feeling we're being left out of something? More often than not. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see ya. Well, um, I'm not gonna go. Luke needs me. Luke needs a lot of things, but uh, what is it this time? Well, you'll find out soon enough. But just keep an eye on um, the space cadet, all right? She's fine. She's playing games with Blackie. Well, just keep an eye on her, okay? I gotta go. What kind of game? Monopoly? I hate Monopoly. So do I. I would much rather be playing their game. Whose game? Luke and Roberts. Remember what they said about that new guy at Kelly's, Keith? Yes, they think that Keith is working for David Gray also. Why don't we prove it? What? I mean, we can catch a spy as much as they can. I mean... Ooh, that sounds like fun. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Oh, what? Ava? Hi. Hi. Any messages? Yes, a, a Mrs. Grant. She wants you to call her. Okay. I hope she feels better. You want to look at the mail? Yep. Can I get you anything? No, I don't think Oh, so. no, thank you. Alice, hi. How are you? Uh, not so well. I sure thought I would be up by now. Well, sometimes these things take a couple of days. Do you have any of the medicine left? Yeah, I got, I got a little. Okay, why don't I just have some sent over to you this evening? Well, thank you. It, I, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to get back to work, though, as soon as I thought I would. Oh, Alice, don't worry about that. Well, I miss you all. Well, we miss you, too, but we'd much rather you took the time to feel better, so you just stay in bed and rest tonight. Okay? All right. Okay, but you give everybody a big kiss for me, okay? I will, and there's a lot of love from us to you. And if you need anything, you just call me. It doesn't matter what time it is, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Teresa still hanging on? Seems to be. Oh. Ava? Yes? Um, would you be able to stay on with us for a couple of days, maybe till the end of the week? I'd be only too happy to. Good. Well, if you want to go now, you could. We're going to be leaving in a couple of minutes. Very well. I'll, I'll get my things in the kitchen, and uh, I'll go out the back door. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Ava. Good night. Well, shall we? <sighs> yeah, I want to comb my hair. Your hair is fine. My hair's And a... Noah is going to be waiting. Oh, well, you're the one that has to look at me. I okay. like it. What's that? I don't know. Hard to see through the Yeah, well, I didn't mean you are going to talk to me. Hope we could just head it out. Oh, well, listen, we're going to Kelly's for dinner. Do you want to go with us? I uh, wish I could. I, I can't. Where's Ava? Uh, 
she just was going to leave. Okay, good. Listen, I have a big favor to ask. Uh, it's going to sound a little strange, but Robert's going to come over here in a little while. I need to hide something here. Hide something? Yeah. You're kidding. You're telling us to be so careful, and you want to come here and hide something? Let me... Yeah, look, uh, I know it sounds crazy, but I need to hide it here in your house, and I can't tell you what it is. It's just vitally important that I do that. Will you let me please say yes? Trust me for a little while. Well, Luke, it's not a matter of trust. Look, as soon as Robert gets here, I'll come down to Kelly's. I'll explain the whole thing, okay? Wes? I don't know. I... <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. Could we stay here with you? We are supposed to meet Noah. You forget that. All right, but you better have a very good explanation. Yeah, I live with it. You can just shut the door. It'll lock behind you. Thank you. Thank you. 